we will talk about prepositions. I have brought a few sentences which we will do together and as we write the answers, we'll see why those particular answers are appropriate in the sentence. So let's begin. In the exam, you get this as fill in each blank with an appropriate word. That means you need to fill in the blank with a preposition. So let's begin. The first sentence is, I have no pen to write dash. So the preposition that will come in here is with. I have no pen to write with. With is a preposition which indicates using an, an implement or a tool. So here you're talking about a pen to write with. The second sentence, we should avail ourselves of this opportunity. The preposition is avail of, O-F. That means we should use this opportunity. The third, the bag was found in the room. In the room because in denotes an enclosed space. While, look at the next sentence, it says, the policeman stood at the crossroads. Here, in would be incorrect because it is talking about an open place, the crossroads. The next one, the stranger knocked at the door. That's the correct answer. It's not on the door, it should be at the door. He disposed of his old car. O, single F. It is an O with a single F. He disposed of his old car. Most children find it difficult to cope with maths. There is a common tendency to use the word cope up with, which is absolutely wrong English. So it is cope with, not cope up with. Cope up with is wrong. Do not use that. Next sentence, we must abide by the school rules, which means we follow, we must abide by. So if you look at the word abide, the preposition that goes along with the word abide is by. The next sentence, I sat beside my grandfather. So when you write B-E-S-I-D-E, -E, it means next to. I sat next to my grandfather. However, look at the next one. Dash learning Sanskrit. Besides learning Sanskrit, I am also studying French. So when you write B-E-S-I-D-E-S, -E -E it means in addition to. In addition to learning Sanskrit, besides learning Sanskrit, I am also studying French. So note the difference between beside and besides. The 11th sentence, I looked at the stars through the telescope. Next, Max prevailed upon me to join him for the picnic. Whenever you see the word prevailed, without hesitation, use the word upon. Use the preposition upon. Prevailed upon. We cruised along the river. That means we sailed along the river. His indiscipline will be held against him. Against him. Next, even though she slept dash several mattresses, she still felt the hard pee. That reminds you of our fairy tale, the real princess. So here the answer should be though she slept over several mattresses, she still felt the hard pee. Now look at the next one. The aeroplane flew above the clouds. Now look at the difference between over and above. Why we cannot use them interchangeably? Because above means when there's a big gap between the two. The aeroplane flew above the clouds. And when you say over, it means just above. Okay. So keeping that in mind, the sentence, he spread a cloth. Will it be above the table or over the table? You are right. It will be over the table because it's just on the surface of the table. There's not much gap between the table and the tablecloth. Next, 18. Hearing a crash, we rushed into the room. Into because it denotes the movement. Similarly, the cat sprang 
upon the table, not on the table. On is referred for something stationary, but when we say upon, it means movement. It shows motion. Next, he was entrusted with the job of writing the report. Entrusted with. After the ugly quarrel, I'm sorry the spelling is wrong. It should be Q-U-A-R-R-E-L. After the ugly quarrel, their friendship fell through. That is the correct word. When you talk about something that is uh, abstract, falling, you normally use the preposition through. So it could be a deal that falls through. It could be a proposal that falls through. It could be a friendship that falls through. So if it is a book, it will fall down. But if it's a friendship, if it's an abstract concept, it will fall through. The 22nd one, the poor beggar was run over by a car. That means the poor beggar came under the wheels of a car. So run over means to meet with an accident. The next sentence, the government proceeded against the tax evaders. It talks about tax evasion. That means they have done something wrong. So the government is now taking action against them. The next sentence, I came across a good article in a magazine. That means you happen to come across the article by chance. It could also be you came across a group of friends at the mall. So came across means when you meet someone inadvertently. The last one, the girl takes dash her mother. The girl takes after her mother. That means the girl resembles her mother, maybe in her features or maybe in her in the way she talks or the way she behaves. So takes after means to resemble. So with this, we come to the end of the exercise. We have done 25 sentences today. Please go through them. Note which prepositions follow which words. These sentences have been taken from your Total English Workbook. You can do those exercises in the workbook. Try them, attempt them. And if possible, I'll come up with another set of exercises based on prepositions so that you have some good revision. Thank you.